So this is a simple, short little practice for building awareness to sense being alive, for strengthening your immune system, for connecting you and grounding you and for clearing your field, yeah? So we're gonna just start as I'll often do, rubbing your hands together in front of your heart. Take a breath in and just feel the contact of your hands. This connects the two halves of your brain, you know? Powerful. And then we're gonna stroke with these hands that have been activated. Stroke your head, back of your head, feeling the contact of the fingers very lightly. So we wanna train the hands to work with the least amount of effort that we can feel the body as you stroke down your belly. And we're gonna stroke down the legs. This is such a lovely practice if you don't feel well, you know, cause it doesn't take much energy. And then you don't have to touch your toes, but go down toward your feet and then come up the backs of your legs and to the butt area. And then as I often do, we connect right below your ribs here to the kidneys. If that's hard on your shoulders or your hands, just use the back of your hands, place your hands on your kidneys. Kidneys, ah, oh, what an important organ, yeah? So just close your eyes, feel the warmth of your hands here and let the kidneys calm, calm. Now the kidneys is a water organ, yeah? It's where we process all the water in the body, filtering it. So a lot of times I just picture that process, appreciating, being grateful for the process of being able to clean the fluids in the body and just thanking my kidneys, not trying to make them work harder, actually letting them relax. And then the energy of the kidney goes down. So stroke your hands down toward the butt. And as if we had tail feathers, you know, just, just so there's a feeling of the energetics of the kidneys moving down, which helps us when we're anxious to ground. And so if you have back issues, just stroking from your kidneys down, your sacrum down your butt, and even up down the backs of the legs a little bit, it will help calm you. And a lot of people whose backs go out, you know, this will really help even organize this area in the low back and even feel more support in your life when you feel like, oh my gosh, you know, the rug's been pulled out from under me. Stroke your kidneys, breathe and just gently help that processing area of the body gently process so it doesn't have to overwork. And then let's go to the belly and we do some circles here. So this is kind of a classic warm up. It's used a lot in Qigong and in Tai Chi and other kinds of practices, but I like to do this with a little more of a Feldenkrais point of view of feeling our bones, feeling the organs, feeling these solid places. So in the Belly, this is the old brain, <laughs> your guts, where you have your gut instinct. And if we're tense there, it's hard to make decisions. So if you're an indecisive person or you've really got too many things on your plate, yeah, what an analogy for the gut, right? Whoa. So we want to clear and gently, not just, you know, have diarrhea here, but process what we need and what we don't need in our belly here and also what foods maybe we've been eating that aren't so great, yeah? And oh, to love the gut a little more so we eat the foods that really nourish us, yeah? Now put your hands right by your pubic bone, above the pubic bone. I put my left hand on the bottom, the right hand above. It's an old martial art thing I'll explain some other time, but just feel that sense of it makes a beautiful circle and tap your heels and feel the heels for a moment okay so from this point on like in my classes you can do some movement practices you can do you know maybe if you want to do something a little more exercisey to get the blood going you know anything but this brings your mind and body together and this next part I wanna show will bring your spirit, okay? This 
energetic force of you that is your life force, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it spirit, okay? And I want you to call your spirit, which sometimes we can be out there with our awareness, okay? I want you to call your spirit all the way in your body, in your mind. And you can even do that sometimes, you know? You use this gesture and call your spirit in so that you bring your spirit into your body all the way to the bottoms of your feet. Close your eyes and then just picture, you know, if you've been focused on someone else or something, something out in the world, call your spirit in so you go all the way in your body to the bottoms of your feet and then let that spread. Give this time so your spirit can just feel your body in all directions from the inside. And then connect the soles of your feet to the center of the earth feel, wow, that's like, I don't know how many kilometers, it's over 7,000 miles, it's a long way to the center of the earth, where it's still, okay, this is the place where it's still, there's no movement there, and that's what gravity pulls us into that place, so you connect this body to the center of the earth, where it's still, and then extend your life force energy, yeah, we, sometimes we call that prana, uh, your chi, send, send that 10 inches around your body. So it makes this beautiful uh, bubble or an energetic shield around your body. This is your immune system, by the way. It's also your life force. It's your elbow room. It's your breathing room. We want that to be only 10 inches, which how many centimeters, what is that, 25 or something, 20 centimeters away. So you really have it maintainable, this personal space of yours. And feel that all around you, holding you. Again, feel the center of the earth so everything is still. And then the last piece of this is you picture whatever is your higher power, your divine power, God, light, shining. It could be, you know, I, the supreme in, in the First Nations people, you know, they call it the great mystery. But anyway, this force that is love, pure love, have that come and shower you right now, cleaning your field around you. If you've had cloudy thoughts or emotions, picture this divine light coming and clearing your field and even clearing your body, yeah? You take like what I call a divine shower, yeah? Cleansing, not just cleaning, but filling your space with love unconditional love so that we can start having that kind of clarity in our body in our thoughts and our movements what a way to either start your day or have a refreshing break if you find yourself in the doldrums yeah so just let that happen you don't have to work at it you just receive and then just breathe inhale and exhale and feeling your space around you. And then let's open your eyes and just sense now, look around you at the familiar things around you. Yeah. And notice the things you really love right now. You know, you might be in your home or your office. You might be near a window. Um, you might see artwork that you love or people, pictures of people that you love or plants or there's a pet or something or your favorite furniture, all the things that kind of remind you of who you are because we really are what we love. And the more we kind of connect to things and start realizing how much we care about things around us, I don't know, the world feels friendlier, you know? And it's easier to move about in the world. And if there's things in your personal space you don't love so much, you have the power, 
well, maybe you have to work that out with your partner or family, but you have the power to make that change if it's not so great in your space. Yeah. All right. And then let's just finish. Rub your hands. Feel your hands now. Are you more present in your hands? And then just put them on your heart. Yeah. And here's the other thing that I like to do on a daily basis. I like to see like, wow, I'm alive today. That is pretty much a miracle. Yeah. I'm alive today. I don't know how much time I've got. I might die today. I'm just going to do the best I can today and enjoy my day as much as I can, right? Just get the most out of this day and give the most love I can do today, yeah? Without effort, just to let it flow. Hope it uh, is a nice one for you to play with and feel free to write your comments and things that you might do that help uh, boost you up, but also connect you, okay?